Hey, Thanksgiving, less than a week away. Mm. We are getting close, and a lot of people are planning to travel. You might want to pack some patience this Thanksgiving. AAA says nearly 47 million Americans will travel at least 50 miles from next Wednesday through Sunday. So the good news for drivers, gas is the cheapest that it's been th since 2008. Costs are also down for those flying. AAA says airline tickets are 10% lower than last year for many of their top routes. Airlines are expecting 65,000 more passengers each day than last year. So a lot of people kind of taking advantage. Maybe they listen to the Harvard business people and they are taking that experience. They're going through the experience. experience of that beautiful holiday travel, which can we know can be so delightful. In theory, <laughs> you, when you buy that ticket, you're like, yes, this is going to be a great, uh, great trip and I'm saving some money here. And then once you walk into the airport, you're like, oh, yeah, these lines. <laughs> and you never, everything is out of your control, right? You don't know if there's going to be a weather delay or if there's going to be a maintenance issue and it can really throw your whole plans out the window. Sure, if you're driving or, you know, we were flying, Nina, driving, you could run into a snowstorm. That's unexpected. Oh. You've been planning to do that. You're stuck on the side of the road. It happens, especially up here. I remember when I used to live in Missouri. I lived there for almost five years, and I would drive back up through Iowa to Minnesota. I mean, sometimes it can get really scary, but you really want to go home. You don't want to wait that extra right. day, yeah. although maybe yeah. you should. But I don't want to call anybody liars here, but isn't it a good idea to say that gas is, is doing really well right before the holidays to get more people traveling? <laughs> I mean, isn't, I'm not saying anything. Who's, who's the nefarious player here who's like, you know, we're going to get more people on the road? I think, mm. but, but if you saw that gas, you know, is a little bit cheaper, maybe right. you'll take that extra trip that you weren't planning on taking I think before. that's crazy that people are like, you know what? Should I go to Should I go to mom's house for Thanksgiving? I don't know. Gas is two fifty a gallon. Sorry, mom. We're skipping Thanksgiving this year. You know, not like, everyone does that? these nice, high energy, high efficient oh, cars. No. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no, I'm driving I, fifty miles. That's five gallons. I just think it's, it's easier. Gas. I'm not saying that they're lying. I'm just saying, what if the same study came out and it said gas is super expensive? Yeah. You know, don't hit the road. I think it does impact whether people choose whether they're going to drive or fly. If gas mm. prices are low, people might be saying, okay, let's skip the plane and let's drive. Put all the kids in the car? Because, yeah. you know, when you add up all those plane tickets. Most people drive. Most families drive. A very small percentage of people are actually flying. I know airport travel is very, very busy, mm. but most people are not flying. Because you can pack your gifts, like Kyle was saying. Gifts. Yeah. You don't get stuck. I, uh, I have the most wonderful parents in the world. I went to visit them a few Christmases back, and my mom had all these beautiful gifts so that she wanted my tree to have things underneath it. The so problem nice. was I had brought a nice little carry-on suitcase. Mm. I, oh, I, work. I no. panicked. I thought I, I thought I was going to miss my flight because I didn't plan ahead in enough time to wait and check a bag. Well, and then Should've check driven. a bag, and the airline loses it, which is what happened when my mom came to visit me oh, for Thanksgiving no. oh, a couple no. of years ago. And uh, let's just say she she enjoyed borrowing all my clothes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a headache, a, but I think it's break. worth it. We had a car breakdown on the way back from Thanksgiving. You always from, have a car breakdown. It's happened twice. <laughs> it's happened twice. Note to self: Don't go on a road trip with Jason. It happened on a Sunday, so you're like, Are you always driving? happens or when there's a car problem yeah I yeah. mean isn't that strange yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I've heard that you can actually go get your car checked out before you go on trips you know okay <laughs> oh well why don't you tell me more about your air your luxurious air travel and your air travel. too many presents <laughs> Oh, the delay was horrible. You're going to be sad when I bring you all sorts of presents. and I will be so you sad. You have to eat all your words. I'm going to be good. <laughs>